Yo, yo, what's good guys? Thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm going to be showing you lot these five easy transitions that you can use within your music videos on Premiere Pro. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you have been enjoying the content, smash that like button. Let's dive right into this video. So the first effect we're going to be creating is basically a flick up transition. And we're just going to be adding an adjustment layer in between these parts here with the markers for this first part of this video. So we're just going to go to our new item here here adjustment layer click ok open it up and just trim it to where you feel like it's okay for your transition and then we just go to effect controls and now we can see how much we've got there for the length and we're just gonna trim that down so it's looking something like this so then now we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna type in brightness and we're gonna drag brightness and contrast onto our adjustment layer and then we're gonna bring up the brightness let's just say to around 75 maybe and then bring up the contrast to around the 60. So it looks something like this. You can do it to your own liking. And we're just gonna mark our keyframes right in the middle where our marker is here. And then we're gonna go to the start of the transition and we're gonna click these return arrows which basically puts them back at zero. And we're gonna do the same for the end of our adjustment layer. So now when we watch this back, we just have a nice clean flash, which is nice. If you wanna add this in your music videos, you can do that. However, we're going to be making this flick. So what we want to do now is basically get the transition keyframes from the start and you just want to hold Alt on your keyboard and drag them just before the middle transition here. Okay. And then you want to do the same right after. So it's looking something like that. Okay. And then now the next step you want to do is basically around here, you want to do another keyframe part of where the brightness and the contrast is exaggerated so we're going to do like around 89 and then let's just say 68 or something so then now when we watch this back we've got a light flicker effect and you can copy and paste this segment right here whoops you can hold alt and copy it over here so then now you've got a flicker that looks like this which I think looks pretty sick. So now what you can do is you can literally hold down on the Alt and for this adjustment there, you can just copy it onto the segment of where your next part, where you wanna add this flicker. And again, as you can see, flicker here, flicker there. And then again, in this segment right here, we can add a flicker. And just make sure that we move this into the right position. So there's your flicker. It's very easy, but it looks very clean. And I feel like you can use this in a lot of transitions and it's definitely gonna work with clips that are separated and in between cuts, just like this. Before we continue with the video, I want you guys to take a look at on how you can bring your edits to the next level. Let me introduce you guys to my editing packs. We've got the intensity preset pack, perfect for those intense flash transitions and hits with different variations to match any style. Then we've got the ultimate shake pack, which is going to add that extra energy and impact to your videos. You need a quick color grade. My clean LUT pack has got you covered. Perfect for music videos and it doesn't stop there. I've got film mats, CCTV overlays and much more. Everything is drag and drop and easy to use and saves you a ton of time. We have an amazing deal that's going on right now, which is a buy one, get one free. It's only going on for a limited time. So feel free to check out my website. The link will be in my description. So for the next segment of this video, we're going to be focusing on our intensity preset pack where I'm going to be able to showcase you the hits and the flashes where we can really make our video stand out and add impact to our video. So feel free to go into the link in my description and download these presets today. But I'm just going to open them up in my panel right here. And as you can see, we have fast flash, flash blur. We've got loads here to go through. So we're just going to make an adjustment layer. In fact, I'm just going to copy the adjustment layer from the previous effect and just delete the brightness and contrast so as you can see this is our effect right here and that is the cut so you might even want to make that a tad smaller just around there it's up to you i have ocd with that sort of thing but yeah if we go to our panel presets where the intensity preset pack is we've got fast flash flash blur effect twitch there is loads here to choose from this round edges one isn't part of the um, pack so we're just going to delete that just so you guys can see properly literally guys so much to choose from here so the ones that we're going to be using and i'm going to showcase you right now is like a zoom flash 
and this basically is going to zoom into the next clip but kind of transition with a nice flash and a nice blur so that looks really sick and we could just do the same throughout a video just copy and paste copy and paste and look as you can see right here there's your flash transition again but we're not going to do that we're actually going to be changing what sort of transition we've got on this adjustment there so we're going to go to flash twitch effect 2 and we're going to drag that onto there so now when we see that one one two okay that looks really sick together and this is what this pack is about just pairing both of the transitions together and making them look really good and then we're just going to go to our third transition here we're just going to delete the other ones we had on there and then for an example we can go to a different transition in this pack and we can go to intense flash 2 and drag that onto our adjustment layer there so then now you've got the hits looking like this you got one two three literally guys you can just keep copy and pasting these different type of flash effects and hits it's very easy to do a simple drag and drop without having to create all of these keyframes so for the third effect we're going to be showcasing an inverted sort of transition where we can make this black and white and just add a different style to our effect so what we're going to do is basically copy and paste the part on where you want to add your inverted effect and we're just going to drag it on top of the same clip and we're then going to go to Lumetri color and we're just going to go to saturation here bring it all the way down so it's black and white but we're going to bring up the highlights just to exaggerate it a little bit as well as the shadows there so it looks something like this so the next thing you want to do is basically use a flash transition or flicker transition before this part comes in so i'm just going to use a transition from my intensity preset pack which we just previously used and i'm going to copy and paste it onto the start of the clip so it looks something like this where it kind of goes into the shot and doesn't just turn black and white instantly so i think that looks pretty sick and it's exaggerating the effect a lot and then we're just going to go to effects and type in flicker and the flicker that i'm going to use here for this part of the effect is from sapphire and we're going to drag it onto our clip to create that flick effect and then the next thing we're going to do is type in invert which is the main part of this effect and we're just going to drag that onto our second clip here like so so then now as you can see we're getting that sort of negative sort of look which i think looks really sick so once you got it looking like this you can just literally duplicate what you've just done with the invert layer and then we can go to effects and type in cross dissolve which should come up right here and then we're just going to drag that onto our clip here and it's going to move it to around let's just say here so then now you've got it coming in halfway where it kind of showcases that sort of effect right here and that is part of the effect which looks really sick guys like especially on parts where the video slows down and you want to show emphasis to a part of the video this is definitely something you're going to want to do all right cool so onto the fourth transition this is going to be very easy but i just feel like with videos where you want to add just a little bit of energy but not too much you can literally do effects like this so I'm just going to drag the adjustment layer on top of where we want to use the transition again and then we're going to go to effect controls just make sure this is all open go to effects and we are going to type in directional blur which should just come up right here i'm just going to add that onto adjustment layer and right in the middle here where our cut is which is right on the marker we are going to bring up the blur length let's just say to around i don't know 70 and then we're just going to minus 90 this direction so it's looking something like this and then we're going to keyframe that and we're just going to return the keyframes at the beginning here and we'll do the same right at the end so now when it transitions into the next clip you got something looking like this but what you can do with these transitions is you can just copy and paste them and then you can change the direction for each one so say for example this is minus 90 we could change this to something like i don't know let's just say 70 so then when we watch this one back we're getting a different direction of where the blur is heading into and you can do the same for the last part of your clip right here just copy and paste it and then go back to the keyframes and change this to i don't know minus 120 and just bring down the blur length a little bit so something like this so then now you're getting more of a subtle type effect and what you can do again if you want to add some extra source to things like this you can literally just add a flash on top of it so we're just going to copy and paste we're going to delete the directional blur we're going to go to our presets which is the intensity preset pack and we're just going to add an intense flash effect and that's basically just going to add a nice blur 
transition to this video say you just want to add something else like a fast flash you could just add that onto there so now we got something looking like this and just copy and paste that onto all of the ones again so then now it looks like that so the first thing you want to do with this effect is just go to effects and you want to type in transform so we're going to be using keyframes and just making this effect look really nice i thought transform would have come up i've got too many presets drag that into the adjustment layer just like that and then right in the middle which is here i'd say yeah literally right here but we just want to maybe make this adjustment layer just a bit longer which should be fine around there and you want to untick the box where it says use composition shutter angle so that is unticked and then literally at the start of our transition right here and then we're going to keyframe position and scale okay and we're just going to make the scale to around let's just say 350 as an example so we're quite zoomed in here and then we can go to our position and just drag this to the edge of our video where it kind of just starts off so i'd say around here and then we're just going to move around a couple frames and then just move the position over a little bit. So I say around here and then again, do the same thing. Just like so. And again, same thing. Just moving across the video. So I say around here and then for the last keyframe, drag it all the way to the edge there. So now we literally have just something moving around on the screen like this. But the way you're going to change this into a transition is basically by going to the shutter angle and increasing this to around, let's just say, I don't know, something like 140. So you got something looking like this, which, you know, can work with certain clips. But I feel like obviously with this clip right here, I don't think it's going to work 100% because it's going back into it. So what we're going to do is just literally delete this segment here obviously if you're editing your music video you're just going to use a clip and then we're just going to drag it more so over so it goes into the next clip if you get what i'm saying so it looks something like that just a wipe transition and then we're going to go to our effects here and just type in blur because we want to bring up the directional blur right here and drag that onto the adjustment layer again and we're just going to bring up the blur length just uh, to around 70. I might bring down the shutter angle to around 75, something like that. And then just bring the direction up. Actually, might minus it to around 80 there. So then now you're getting something that looks like this. And you can make this transition a lot more faster if you really wanted to by moving these positions a lot more faster. So then it goes clean with the wipe. And then to make this just look a lot more cleaner, you can just add a flash at the start and at the end of the transition. So it looks more so something like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Looks very clean like that. And we can add our flash maybe a little bit more earlier into the clip. So it looks like that. And a little bit more out on the end. Which I think looks really clean. So guys, these are just very easy transitions, but if you just want to use them in Premiere Pro just to help out with the way your music videos are looking, then feel free to do this. They're very easy to use and it will help with your videos a lot. And that will be the end of today's tutorial. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. It's very easy to use these transitions in Premiere Pro. They are not hard at all. Feel free to download the intensity preset pack where you can just drag and drop the transitions that I used in today's video. And you can definitely learn a lot from using them as well and combining them with your own sort of effects. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and comment below what you thought of these transitions. Thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one love